Hi everyone, I'm Carly Hayden and I lead our North America Startup Program at Snowflake. Here with me today is Jacques Nadeau, who is the co-founder and CEO of Sundeck. So Jacques, why don't you tell us more about Sundeck and why you're joining us here at Summit today, helping make querying easier for Snowflake users. Absolutely, well thanks for having us, Carly. It's super nice, super exciting to be here. Um, really, really enjoyed the keynote this morning. A lot of really meaningful things for us and what we're thinking is a way to help people out at Snowflake, or at, at, um, with Snowflake. And so um, Sundeck is a query engineering platform focused on helping people to use and leverage Snowflake more effectively, okay? And the thing that we actually announced today as part of the Summit launch is a new native app called Ops Center for Snowflake. And Ops Center for Snowflake is built on top of the native app framework that's gone into public preview today. Um, and it allows people to better understand what's going on with their Snowflake consumption and look ways for ways to optimize that. Very cool that you're all part of the native app private preview. And I, of course, couldn't have missed the walrus in the keynote today that popped up with native apps. Tell us more about how launching as a native app is helping your Snowflake users get more value out of their data. Yeah, well, being able to, you know, as a small, a small startup, right, being able to launch a technology that people can immediately adopt inside their Snowflake environment, right, and it's entirely secure, so it runs inside of their Snowflake instance, so we don't have any access to their data, right, and so that immediately allows people to try something out that might otherwise be something that would be a little bit scary to use, right, and so being able to work inside of this framework to be able to test those things out and explore them, I think is a really, really powerful thing. The other thing is, is that by building on the native app framework, we were able to make the app available for all Snowflake clusters, um, all, all Snowflake uh, warehouses and, and environments at the same time. And so, to put it on in the native app, you've got this automatic fulfillment which is available in any of the different regions that Snowflake runs. Got it, so I'm hearing that it's freely available. Um, tell us more about how Sundeck is making money with this very generous model. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, thanks for bringing that up. I, I should have mentioned that, that, that Ops Center is, is free and we're actually doing something very unique which is we're also making it available open on GitHub. And the reason we're doing that is because we believe that the community of people who work with Snowflake is a very, very strong community, and we've got to give them more ways to improve their experience as that community, right? And so being able to say, hey, let me take this GitHub project, start to change it, modify it, make it useful for myself, and share that with others in the community, I think is a very, very powerful thing. Now, as you said, yeah, Sundeck is a business, right? And so how does that, how does that benefit us? Well, first off, we just always like, I've worked in open source for a really, really long time, and I always like to say, hey, let's build up a community and have people be able to collaborate together. You build a lot of great relationships and give a lot of value. But on top of that, what happens is, is that people better understand what's going on with their Snowflake usage. One of the common patterns that they'll realize is, is that their use of warehouses can sometimes just be un not as optimal as they would like it to be. And so as an example, you might have, you know, a, lot, a common pattern is to split up warehouses into many different uh, many different warehouses and run workloads against each of those warehouses. And when you do that, you can get into a situation where you actually push down your overall utilization of each of those individual warehouses, which means that each of your Snowflake credits doesn't give you as much value. And so one of the things that we provide as our Sundeck core product is the ability to dynamically route queries to different warehouses. And so rather than having to figure this out ahead of time, as you learn what your different workloads are and look at your different workload patterns, you can use Sundeck to actually route them to new warehouses, create warehouses that are focused on specific types of workloads. Maybe you've got large create table as or ETL jobs um, that probably shouldn't be run on the same warehouse as some other things, but you need to adapt that at the query level as opposed to on the large work workload or use case level. And so Sundeck provides a platform that allows you to do this dynamic routing to warehouses. Got it, so what I'm hearing about Sundeck, which is fantastic, is that you're not only making it easier for Snowflake users to leverage their Snowflake environment and tune their queries, but you're also making it more cost effective and, and helping their teams get more value out of their data. Can you walk us through an example of where we might see this at one of your potential ICPs? Yeah, absolutely. So the most common case is, is that as you're creating new use cases and workloads, um, you typically will create a new warehouse mm -hmm. and you'll attach that new warehouse to that workload and then start running queries against it, okay? And so we've seen this especially with sort of large financial services organizations. Um, and so this is a very common pattern, um, but it can be a very expensive and inefficient pattern. And so what happens instead is you simply set up the, the, the workload to start target Sundeck and then as you learn more about that workload, you can automatically change things so that you take advantage of the best capabilities of Snowflake. 
and it's, that's especially important as Snowflake introduces new capabilities around different kinds of instance sizes and things like that. You want to be able to optimize those things to best use those credits. That's fantastic. We have announced a couple other new features that are coming out at Summit today. What are you most excited about and how do you see that driving value for Sunneck in the future? Well, man, there's a lot that's come out. There's a lot of different things. The vision, I think, is very, very strong. I think that the, the shift, or not shift, but the, the additional focus, you know, I think it was Christian that was talking on the stage today about the different personas that Snowflake focuses on and the move towards the left, which is more the development persona from what traditionally has been more of a data sense, science or data engineering um, or analyst persona. I think that that's a really, really powerful shift and there's a number of different components of that strategy that are very, very impactful for us. So as going back to what I was talking about before, as a small organization, being able to provide capabilities to very, very large organizations and to start with a very, very strong sense of trust is important. And some of the, the new technologies that are becoming available, as an example, the container services um, technology can make a lot more things possible, right? And so one of the things that we've been talking with Snowflake about for some time is like, hey, Python and Java is great, but we do a lot of stuff in other languages. How do we get those things to also run inside of Snowflake? And so I'm really excited about that. That's fantastic. Um, and I have to say, I've seen a couple people running around in hot pink Sun Deck shirts today. Can you tell us a little bit more about how our audience could track one of those down? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, come by our booth. We'll give you more overview of what Sun Deck's about. Um, we're in uh, the east side of the base camp. Uh, base Camp East, um, near the DBT um, booth, and you come by, and if you find us, you'll see us in bright pink tie-dye shirts with a walrus on them. Amazing, and if our user, if our audience today wants to be able to leverage Sundeck themselves, um, where can they best find you? Absolutely, so one option is you can go to sundeck.io, and you can sign up for our product there, or you can also click there, there's a link to go straight to the op center inside the marketplace and install that today. Well, that is awesome, Jacques. It was great talking to you today. Um, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Check out Sundeck and definitely swing by their booth. Don't forget about the hot pink walruses. Thanks, Carly.